Uh, I will try to cover the most popular ones here today, but to get a complete picture of how and how many lifting devices we have, I suggest that you look into our product catalog or check out the dealer web to the complete list of lifting devices. Even if you have a scooter or um, maybe a big power wheelchair, please take a look because we have a lot of lifting devices. I will start with the smallest one. It is quite simple thing. It is made out of two bands that are connected in one piece here. And as you can see, when I lift it, it is clamping on. In the product catalog, it says, or it's showing a picture of a foldable wheelchair. So once it's folded, these two grabs on to the handlebars because the handlebars comes together and this one will fit outside and then when you lift it, it holds on to the wheelchair. This is of course a very simple solution that you can easily do by yourself. But why bother? Since these are clever solutions that helps you out without having to, you don't have to think anything. You just buy one and install it. Easier than that can't be. Quite good solution actually. To step it up a little bit, you know I talked about foldable wheelchairs. At the other end we have soft seat wheelchairs. And for soft seats there are normally a specific lifting device that you can buy from the wheelchair manufacturer. But if you don't like to or can't find a dealer for that, why not use ours? It looks ra rather easy and it's a simple thing that you can easily do by yourself. But once again, why bother? Buy one from us. <clears throat> it is meant to be sliding on to the soft seat. And once it's lifting, the spreaded piece here spread the force of the seat and you can lift the wheelchair up. Remember also that soft wheelchair seats are normally located on very light wheelchairs. So it's not lifting that much. But it's clever made so that you can grab it on with one hand, slide it in underneath the seat and lift it up. It is easy attached on the Carlift 40 since it's using a carbine hook. And this is already pre-installed pre a hook on it. So you just click it on. Faster than that, it's not impossible. It's, it's not possible. But for those of you who, are, who normally, well, at least once in a while, lift heavy wheelchairs, you know that it's hard to find the center position of the cargo. So it won't lean, wiggle, turn over. In front of me, I have two very popular lifting devices. One is a, a big steel frame. This steel frame here is the lifting device. In the center here you connect the strap or the belt or the string. Uh, after that you attach these belts in here with the, the pins, lock pins that is provided in the package so that the female buckles will hang down on the wheelchair you attach these straps wrapped around the frame or around the handlebars if it's fixed handlebars and then in the other end of this you put these two the male buckle so once you lower this down with the two female buckles one on each side you just click it in to these. The only problem is, or actually not a problem, but it takes a little bit out for the customer to locate these since these are on a soft piece of belt or strap. So they could fall down hanging inside the wheelchair. Maybe not a problem, but I'm just telling you so that you are aware of it. But once they are located, you just lift it up and click it in. And then it's attached. 
Here you really have to make sure that these straps are located in the center of the weight so it won't tip over once you lift it. So if you have problems with the weight point and wheelchairs that will flip over, I suggest that you buy this. And I suggest you buy this anyway because this will solve any wheelchair. It can lift over 180 kilos with no problem. It is quite similar to the one I showed you before with a lifting frame right here. But instead of using one, bolt at e one belt on each side, here we attach two belts on each side. So it's creating a V or a tent, so to speak. So these two brackets are attached here somewhere. These four are attached to the frame, clamped on to the tubing of the frame of the wheelchair without hurting the wheelchair and with two tubular sizes. If, you, if the tubes on the frame are located underneath the seat, maybe you have to extend the fastenings. Because on the other end here, on the thread, you attach one male buckle bolted into these. So with the four locations, you don't have to find the center of the weight because these four belts that are attached on each side with these, you could create this on the side of the wheelchair. So you can shorten one just to tip it over a little bit and lengthen the other one to flip it forward. So with these straps, which are adjustable, quite easy, you can tilt it back or forward. So if you have a problem, especially with power wheelchairs where they have a large battery package in the rear, it is hard to find the center of a weight point. With this, you don't have to bother. You bolt these four into position, one of each corner, and then you use the straps to strap it up in the right level. So don't think, use. This is a br brilliant product. And these are, of course, universal packages. So these fits most solutions. Yep, this was the two cranes, the hoists, car lift 40 and 6900. This is, of course, not the only cranes, lifts and hoists that we have in our product portfolio. But if you are interested in more cranes, I suggest that you look into the product catalog and the deal web. But if you are new in this area, I suggest that you, you put a lot of effort into these two because they will solve the problem you have and they will fit in most cars as well and with our lifting devices, lift any wheelchair as well. Uh, hope you have enjoyed this session and uh, made it more interested in our products. And I hope to see you soon in a training session. Thank you and goodbye.